preparation of the base course is the most critical stage of building with the Porotherm system. Before commencing, all coursing requirements should be considered. Coursing blocks cut from Porotherm should be used in the base course. Where concrete floors are incorporated, standard bricks can be used with traditional mortar to overcome any excessive variation in levels. These should be between the floor and the Porotherm blocks. Block layers must ensure the base course is level horizontally along and across each block and there are no steps between each block. Once the block layers have the base course level, the highly engineered blocks combined with a good standard of workmanship will ensure the walls will be vertically plumb and of consistent high quality. Zero Plus Mortar has been developed specifically for the Porotherm system. A single 15 kilogram bag mixed with just 3.6 litres of water will lay one full pack of blocks when applied by roller. The mortar can be mixed in small quantities local to laying, which means a reduction in forklift movements, less plant or pedestrian contact and no need for noisy cement mixers. Unlike traditional mortar, Zero Plus can be used from zero degrees centigrade, meaning projects can gain extra working time during winter. It's recommended that the block layer brushes down the top of each course before applying the Zero Plus mortar. This removes any dirt or grit from the block work to ensure a smooth, level surface to place the next layer of blocks on. A special roller has been designed for use with Porotherm. The roller is fast and easy to use provides an even spread of mortar along the block work and reduces wastage and dermatological risk. Pour the required amount of Zero Plus mortar into the roller and roll it backwards along the wall. Once the base course has been prepared, Laying porotherm is a simple process. Porotherm block walls require a minimum bond of 100 millimeters or a one-third bond. This minimizes the number of cuts required. Once the layer of block work has been brushed down and the mortar has been applied, lay the blocks next to each other using the interlocking design. The block should be positioned and struck with a mallet to ensure the block is seated correctly. The accuracy of the porotherm blocks combined with the correct standards of workmanship ensures the walls are vertically level. Where string lines are used, they're for line only. The level is maintained due to the accuracy of material and good workmanship. Mechanical cutting is recommended when cutting porotherm blocks. Block layers can utilize water suppressed disc cutters, electrical reciprocating saws with the appropriate blades, or bench cutting saws. Block layers may choose to cut by hand. Appropriate care should be taken to maintain a clean cut and a consistent cut joint width of ideally 10 millimeters to a maximum of 15 millimeters. However, hand cutting can produce more waste.
Special two-part wall ties have been developed for use with the Porotherm system. Installation is phased, which eliminates any danger or injury from wall ties projecting from a part-built cavity wall. The first part is applied to the Porotherm wall during the build process. The second part is attached as the outer skin of the wall is built up. A wide range of fixings are available for use with the Porotherm system. Many are off the shelf and some have been specifically designed for use with Porotherm. These fixings cover the complete range of light to heavy requirements. EcoParge is a high performance modern parge coat that has been specifically designed as part of the Porotherm system. It helps to achieve excellent air tightness, optimizing the sound and thermal performance of the system prior to dry lining. Mix with clean water using a paddle. Mix at a rate of approximately 10 liters per 25 kilogram bag. Mix for five minutes, allow standing for five minutes, then remix. Ecopard should be applied by brush to the internal room facing block work both block faces and joints to a thickness of two to three millimeters. Use a soft headed broom. Load the brush and work it into the joints, ensuring they're filled. Once filled, stroke the material out in a horizontal manner, covering the face of the blocks. This will flatten the surface out. A single bag of Eco Parge will cover approximately 20 square meters at a thickness of two to three millimeters.